All right, guys, there's nobody on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through everything I went through in the meeting. So some housekeeping real quick. Um, I started the focus and accountability challenge. It is for tracking your macros. It is for um, tracking your macros. It is for getting in your water, your habits and fitness daily. It's a free six week challenge in our app. It just helps you stay focused and committed. If you want to be in it, let me know. Um, I posted a holiday happy hour. It's the first one. We've done weekends in the past, but this is the first holiday happy hour. I'm going to have it at my house. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Um, it's uh, bring your own mocktail, bring your favorite mocktail, cocktail, or appetizer. Um, and we're just gonna have a fun time. You'll get to meet all the other short tribe people that live locally. We're also going to do an elephant gift exchange. And I'll explain that more as it gets closer once I know who's in it. But you bring an unwrapped gift and we just go around the room. Um, I've also talked about giving out my Shein clothes. Um, and I'm going to be putting those in a separate room if anybody wants to go through them while you're here for the party. You're more than welcome to have it. I have a lot. Um, and it's at my house and that's in Lake Worth. So the event is posted in two groups. If you want more information on it, just message me. Um, I have a couple of tanks and um, ball caps that people have been asking about. So this is the ball cap, always be badass. And this is the, um, whatchamacallit, tank top. And on the back, it does say always be a badass. I posted in the Shred Tribe gear group what sizes I have and the prices. It is super important for you guys to do your weigh-ins every week. Um, I'm going to stay on top of you guys with it as well as your photos. I added in the group a third week update form. So make sure you guys find that. If you can't find it, let me know. It's in the important announcements group. Um, I have a, I left retro fitness. So I have a couple of personal training sessions available, either zoom or in person. Um, I currently train five people zoom, and then I have my outside clients. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know. And I just added two new cheat sheets to the cheat sheet group, uh, for carbs and protein. So please take a look at that. So that is housekeeping. Um, okay. So in order to make a change, you need to change your environment. And because there's nobody on here, I'm just going to be talking. Um, there's literally nobody on here. So a few things you want to do to strategize your house, because a lot of people are talking about the food that's in their house, or I have to finish what I have in the house before I start, so forth. So put snacks away in less accessible cupboards or out of sight, out of mind. I once told somebody, buy a crate, put all your crap in it, put it in the garage, lock it, you're done. Um, have your friends or have your kids pull it out when you need something. Uh, remove easy snacking items like candy dishes and bowls of mixed nuts. If you keep candy on your desk at work, get it out. If you think company wants it, they don't. And probably nobody needs it where you're working either. Um, don't keep trigger foods in the house. Why would you tempt yourself? Get it out of the house. I do it all the time. If someone gives me something as a gift, I get it out. I re-gift it. I give it to my kids. If I don't need it, I don't need it in my house. Um, always have a few meals and protein options that are pre-made and ready to go that you can keep you away from going for takeout. So I don't have a problem with you getting takeout as you order the right food. But if you're prepared and have stuff ready in your house or use Ideal Nutrition, which I love, um, those are great options. Stock your kitchen with lean protein sources, veggies, whole grains, and fruits. Um, apples, berries are amazing. Um, practice mindful eating. So if you're eating in front of the refrigerator or in front of the, refrigerator, in front of the television, um, you're not going to be as mindful as to what you're doing. So I want you guys to enjoy your food. I want you guys to remember every meal you have, um, because it takes you a long time to put it together. Right? So those are my tips for today. Okay. So we're going to talk about goals first, specifically weight loss goals. Um, always handwrite your goals. If do you remember when you used to study or if you're adult studier, which I am, um, I write down my notes. You know, I don't highlight it in the book. Um, I don't put, write, type it in my phone. I write it down. That will help you remember your goals going forward. Um, SMART goals are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Those are SMART goals. And that's how we're going to build our goals. Um, Sustainable short-term uh, goals 
will become long-term gains over time. So make those little goals and it'll be a big long-term gain, right? We did that with our 10 pounds. Short-term goal, 10 pounds, but overall long-term goal could be 50, 60, 30, 100 pounds. But eventually you will get there. Um, by setting clear concrete goals and identifying how you'll meet them, you'll more likely stay motivated. We talked about that with the 10 pounds. There was a study that showed that 42% more likely to achieve a goal by writing it down. And then frequently checking in on your goal's progress will boost your chances of meeting it. So everybody's going to give me a goal after I go over this. And I'm, if you want, I'll put it in your app so you have it to look at. It'll be in line with your habits. Okay. So set a goal that is as specific as possible. Um Rather than saying, I will be more active or I will eat healthier, try to say, I will run for 30 minutes a day or I will reduce my sodium intake by this amount. It's more specific. Uh, measurable. So you want to say, I will take the dog on a 30-minute walk around the neighborhood after dinner each weeknight this month. Achievable. So you want to make sure that you know you can achieve the goal. Obviously, that's pretty Fair and simple. We talked about the 10 pounds up to 50 pounds put out over time. Something realistic. Um, I will complete one mile in my gym stairmaster four nights a week this month will help you reach that goal versus saying I'm going to do 30 miles on the stairmaster this month, right? Um, make sure that the start date is short term, that you know you can achieve it and reach that goal. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of ideas. Eating fruit and whole grains for breakfast each morning for one week eating five servings of vegetables each day for two weeks, walking 30 minutes a day after dinner for one week, using endurance and strength training equipment for 30 minutes for four times a week for two weeks, eating out at a restaurant only once a week for a month and bringing lunch to work and cooking at home or getting ideal nutrition or any of those meal plans, Going to sleep by 11 each night and waking up by 7 a.m. each day for a month. That just depends on if you're not getting your eight hours of sleep. Try to meditate. So you're going to say meditate 10 minutes a day, five days a week for one month. I'm going to complete 15 push-ups a day for one week. Running one mile four times a week for two weeks. Running 30 minutes a day, five times a week for a month beginning in April. Losing four pounds or a certain percentage of body fat in one month through macros, dieting, and exercise goals. So those are great, um, smart goals for you guys. So now we're gonna talk about vision boards. So uh, hopefully you guys have created a vision board at one time. This is normally where I will go through and read some vision boards um, and see if anybody's done them at all. Um, so I'm just going to go into vision boards. So this meeting probably won't even be 30 minutes. So if you're listening to it on record, um, creating a vision board is a sacred space that displays what you actually want and it will bring it to life. So I make vision boards a lot. Um, I always try to get my private nutrition clients um, that are either competing or whatever it may be to do a vision board as soon as we start. Vision boards are great. They help us, um, um, I'll get into that. I don't want to get to that. So um, creating a sacred space that displays what you want actually brings it to life. What we focus on expands. When you create a vision board and place it in a space where you see it often, you will end up doing short visualization exercises throughout the day. Uh, has anybody read The Secret or watched the movie for The Secret? If you put it out there, it will happen. Um, when I was looking for a car, nobody had the specific car. All of a sudden, everybody on the road had this specific car because it was in my head that that's a car I wanted. So then I saw it everywhere. Visualization is one of the most powerful mind exercises you can do. The law of attraction is forming your entire life experience and is doing that through your thoughts. When you are visualizing, you are emitting a powerful frequency out into the universe. That's what I just talked about. Olympic athletes have been using vision boards for decades to improve performance, and the Psychology Today reported that the brain patterns activated when a weightlifter lifts heavy weights are also similarly activated when the lifter just imagines lifting weights. So there was a study. Sorry, guys, I'm so thirsty. There was a study that had a guy that would lift and a guy that didn't lift for 30 days. The guy that didn't lift, they had him visualize lifting every day for the same amount of time as what the lifter did, doing the same exact exercises for the entire time. And at the end of the 30 days, 
they both accumulated the same amount of muscle that added onto their body. It was amazing. I'm going to try and find it, um, but it was such a crazy study, but it just goes to show you when you think about something, it could actually happen. It's not crazy or telepathic or anything. It's just putting it out there, manifesting it. Um, your vision board should focus on how you want to feel, not just on the things you want. Spending time with your family makes you feel really good. Um, going out for a hike makes you feel amazing. Those are the things that you could put on there. Um, so what should you put on your vision board? Anything that inspires and motivates you. Uh, think about what your goals are in relationships, careers, finance, home, travel, personal growth. It could be spiritually. It could be your social life, education, and health. You can make multiple vision boards for all those. Um, uh, my sister showed hers, and I will show you it as well because it's right here. Let me find it. So when my sister did hers, Let's try to do that again. It's all quotes and sayings this time. She's done them before and uh, she didn't do all quotes and sayings. She did other stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you pennies. And pennies is not quotes. So this is pennies. And she talks about her family, about being fit, about being mental, healthy mentally, which is amazing. Um, the app that we use or you can use is Pick Play Post, P-I-C-P-L-A-Y-P-O-S-T, and it's free. Super simple on how to make a vision board in there. Um, so should I have one vision board or should I have multiple? Like I said, you can have one or multiple. You could do them as many times as you want. Um, always. When you are thinking about what your goals and aspirations are, try to find those pictures or find those inspirational quotes that move you and put that on your vision board. Um, so you can change your vision board whenever it feels right. Um, I definitely always do a vision board December going into the new year, but you could do it anytime you want. I try to do them once every eight weeks when we do it with each other, um, it just depends. If I reach a goal, then I redo my vision board. Um, so they say every December, it gives the board a total, re it's great to do a, give the board a total refresh and get clear about you want in the about what you want in the new year. So um, obviously I talk a lot more when I do the meetings, but um, because I don't need to do that because there's nobody replying back to me, we don't have to worry about it today. Um, so that was the meeting in a nutshell, about 20 minutes, um, besides the socializing we do in between. Um, I'm sorry that you guys couldn't be on today, but I'm glad I recorded it this time. So I will see you guys all Wednesday. Remember, let me know if you want to be in the challenge, work on that vision board. I need one goal, uh, smart goal, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and, um, if you're interested in any of the gear. So I will talk to you guys. Remember the happy holiday, the uh, holiday happy hour is coming up. Um, the event is in there. So remember, always be badass and have a great day, everyone.